There we go. Okay, so um, how are you all doing? Are you guys still working your month in, still going crazy? Um, Elsa, do you want to start off? I don't, I don't hear the voice note that you sent to me now. Can I go? Okay, go. All right. So, um, yeah, so we had, I'm going to start off with the, the, the crappy part because last month I think I had one of my worst months in Herbalife. Um, not because I wasn't working, but just I think about two, three months ago, I wasn't working hard enough. I didn't fill my funnel um, enough and I was busy treading a little bit of water about two, three, four months ago on finding my flow again and finding my niche and really just, I was a little bit stuck in my mind, I think in, in, in this all, everything just going on. And I um, started believing I can't do 10 Ks anymore. I think what you put in your mind really um, messes you up. But any case, so guys, it happens to us as well. That has been six years, seven years in the business. And you constantly have to rework your mind and you constantly have to make sure that you do watch your personal development and you constantly have to think about something new and fresh and get excited about the business again and get excited about customers again. And when I started with Herbalife, I was like the retail queen. I was like Elsa. I was like retail machine. I retail so much 10, 20, 30 customers in a month. And I stopped doing that. I don't know why I did it. I think I was so caught up in signing up members and any case. So we did more than 3000 PPV this month. And I was so excited about that because we got so many new customers in and I want to share a few tips on what happened this month with you all. Um, so let me quickly dive right into this. Um, and the reason why I'm sharing the nitty gritties with the supervisors or the leaders here is, um, guys, we constantly have to work on ourselves. We constantly have to make sure that we believe we can do it more than anyone and anything else. And there was actually a part of the, uh, uh, somewhere in this month where Fricky asked me, will I go back to teaching? And I told him, listen, yeah, mister. This thing, this Herbalife thing I'm doing is for life. It's done. It's decided. There's nothing I will ever do other than this. Um, and because this is my vehicle, I don't see any other job anywhere that's going to give me what this company can give me in time freedom and spending time with my kids that's coming as well. So that's one of the big things. So I think that also that decision of you making this and this there's no plan b is what really helped me i'm not telling everyone to go quit their jobs and then have a plan b i'm not telling you that but my mind needed a legitimate answer um, for myself just once again so what i decided to do is i was thinking of just breaking down what happened in this ten thousand points because obviously it's not just me it's obviously a lot of people doing little bits and I don't have a lot of build business builders in my team or in my personal volume. I've got amazing supervisors, but in my personal volume, I don't have a lot of business builders and um, I'm actually enjoying it like this because what I'm busy, what's happening here is every single month, they constantly place the volume. I have amazing customers in my personal volume pool they are slotted, most of them are slotted into the structures and the other ones who aren't, they have been on the products for quite some time and it's just part of their lifestyle now. So what I thought I was going to just run through with you guys to just show you where all this volume came from. <clears throat> so we did more than 3000 volume points PPV, which is amazing. I have to go work out my profits. Fricky drew me up a sheet because he told me I'm, um, to crap with my invoices. So I am going to take my bank statement tonight and I'm going to go through all those profits because it happened so fast. I was like, oh my sack, I can't even I have to go take my calculator things out because it was like huge orders that came through. And I'm going to share with you guys how I got them. So the customers broken down. Adriana was a new customer. She bought a one month program like within a half an hour. 
um, Lizette was a lady I've been sp speaking to. She was with, um, she was, um, we were in the same school and she's been following me on WhatsApp status, on my Facebook for quite some time. I see her name pop up all the time. Um, and she finally reached out to me. I have spoken to her previously, but she's a mom stuck with baby weight, needed results. Suret, also a mom, also took the one month program. Aleta was actually my, my grade three teacher. <laughs> Imagine how cool is this? So she took collagen, <laughs> um, obviously, because she's much older than we are and she needs it. And it's freaking amazing. So she took those that early bird um, combo that we, that Laverne designed for us, that beautiful um, image with the collagen with a gift. Um, Irene also, she got a stamp. This was actually a customer that has been on Herbalife that was really, really dissatisfied with her previous coach. And I told her, please just give Herbalife a chance. Let me just coach you for one month and see what happens. And she's doing amazing. She lost like four centimeters around her waist in a week. And she was, yeah, she was really, really excited. Gladness was an old customer who returned. Madelise was also a new mommy. She started on a shake in tea. Um, two shakes in a tea, she joined the challenge. Adriana joined the challenge. Suret joined the challenge. Um, Lee also joined the challenge. She did it last month. Karen was also a lead that I found from Google. Guys, they saw my name on Google and they called me. And she pays like three, uh, she do, do, she, when she orders, it's like big, like three, 400 volume a shot. Um, and then Farana, she was one of my supervisors. She just purchases from me now. She doesn't mind. She just says, Amri, just give me the products. I don't want to go on the site. It's just no problem, PPV for me. So um, that is where the PPV came from. I think I missed one or two of the people because I don't have my whole list here with me at the moment. I'm a little caring a little bit by my mom. But I just want to show you guys here. So that is a product lover. She's just loving the products. Um, Zaret, also an amazing product lover. I see something in her though, um, but I'm not going to push it. I'm just going to help her get absolutely amazing results. Also, mommy, she just had a second baby and she's just going through that. Natalie, also one of our old soups that's back in our personal volume. Angela as well and Garth as well. So they're all just product lovers. We barely speak. Um, they don't want to follow up. I've reached out. They love their products. They told me, Amory, I love my products. Just send me recipes, cool recipes when you find them. Same with Charlene and Alexandra and Bernadine and Ilza and Lisa was one of my boot campers. Eloise was also an old member that we got back from the win back. Um, there's Lizzie. Chanel is one of my ladies in Botswana. She is absolutely a product fanatic. And guys, I'm going through this so you guys can see we don't look for business builders. We look for people wanting to do just using the product. So Chanel buys for the whole family. Um, this is a small order. It's usually here by seven, 800 volume points. Um, and another product lover, another product lover, another product lover. gomozo has got a few customers. She, I actually, what happened to Gomozo is um, her contacts, um, was not on my phone anymore or didn't work anymore. I emailed, I messaged, everything from the company didn't work. So then what I did is I went onto the BizWorks email platform and I emailed Gomoza and said, hi, you, you qualified for an amazing promo um, because she was doing like two, 300 volume points every single month and I'd have no way to contact her. And then she finally messaged me and said, hi, I'm just claiming my combo. So now I have her number again and now I can start recognizing again. And she is so excited because in the beginning of the month, she already placed 250 volume. And then um, I just explained to her how the 35% work. And she said, okay, she's waiting for the collagen. She'll find a few people and they're going to go for the 500 volume points. So that she might be a business builder in the future. And if you guys can go through here, yeah, it's literally people going or is in building mode as well, or just product lovers. Jackie is one of our little superstars. She just qualified, qualified producer. We've got two shake parties lined up for her now the next two weeks. So really, really excited about her. And um, yeah, 
there's uh, Siobhan as well. She just came from um, China and she said she wants to do business and she loves the products, has been on it for quite some time. So she went and purchased her 500 volume points for her and her partner and they are going to go crazy now. So I am quickly going to, yeah, I, you guys can ask me questions just now if you wanted to, but the thing I think that changed in the last few months when I was starting to find my flow again um, is what I decided doing is I decided to find the thing that I enjoy doing in Herbalife and I enjoy working with moms getting results. That's my passion. I love it. I feel comfortable in doing it. I can do it any day. You can wake me up in the middle of the night and I'll know what to say. I struggle to help bodybuilders. I struggle to help stuff. I, I, I struggle. So then I have to go do research and it takes time and effort. And yeah, so my passion and my niche that I found was moms, postpartum moms. And I'm a postpartum mom. So it works perfectly. Um, what I did is I started a community on Facebook, my own community. I just saw that I've got 15 new member requests. Oops, I probably had to check that a little bit earlier. So my group is growing like crazy. I'm almost at 300 members and it hasn't, I think it's been running for a month or not a, as much, but I'm really focused on building my community, making new connections with new people and really doing what Mark Hughes is saying is talk to at least 10 new people a day. And that's what I started actually doing as I was talking and building relationships with at least 10 new people. My book is full of new names and I'm so excited because it's people that's my, not my people. Um, so finding something you enjoy doing, um, this really excites me. When I start talking about these moms and how they lose the weight and um, really getting back their confidence, that's what I enjoy doing. And I do it around the product. So that's quite fun. Um, doing a few things and not focusing on one. I think a lot of times, um, we just focus on on doing a challenge or just or that's just an idea or some advice just focusing on social media you I saw that if I had my um, my thing my Eisterstocken in fear who same as the icebreak word but if I focus on only one thing and that one thing is maybe slow for that month my business is flatlining but if I take adequate time in spending my time, one hour social media, one hour inviting people personally for the 21 day challenge, and one hour making sure um, that I organize my next shake party. Um, now I've got customers I get over a f in a few platforms and that's helping my business grow in various platforms. Being more consistent, so I think um, on, I found this community on Facebook where I am um, engaging a lot with the moms and I have been doing consistent this consistently almost every single day, sometimes Sundays and Saturdays as well, um, really connecting with new, new moms and new people um, because I'm not going out into like malls and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so being consistent in what you are doing, making sure that you know exactly what to do in the time that you have to do it. Personal development. I know guys, everyone says this. Um, I know some of my supervisors are on. Yeah, we made a special group where we are going to say, we're gonna do Mark Hughes, Ach, Jim Rowan in the morning and Mark Hughes in the evening. Um, and since we've been on this group, just sharing a little bit more about the personal development, um, I have been doing more personal development and just sharing it with my team and hopefully they're doing it as well, but some of them do post their screen, so that's good. And I think the fact that we start, that I started learning Mark Hughes or getting to know him again through his videos and through his trainings um, also really played a big role in what's busy happening. Um, and then taking your designated time and work focus and um, don't beat yourself up if you don't get through everything. So some days I would really be negative at the end of the day. And I said, oh my word, I did, 
only one hour of work and I'm so sick and tired of this and I'm not going to be able to do this business if I don't put more time and effort in. But that day, things just didn't work out. And then the next day, I just had to work harder. And when I started realizing that you can't beat yourself up for every small thing you do wrong, rather focus on the things that you did right that day, then everything starts changing. So, yeah, if you guys, I'm in the game, yes. Um, if you guys have any questions, I can maybe, also, again, noch a party, yes, because I see our time is running. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to um, really add a lot right now. I think, you know, it's so valuable that you have already shared and um, we are running out of time. I think there's just one thing that I want to close off with, um, you know, in, in your focus in building the business. Um, as you grow as a supervisor and get to the supervisor level, your task um, is to be building a supervisor organization. Otherwise, you are going to be busy doing an active income only. And like Amory has shown, you will find that over the years, I am a, I am a, a strong retailer because I've built relationships with my customers. I have lots of reorders. Um, and, you know, it's the, you guys challenge me because I also need to, to keep my own game up. So I'm sitting on about 6,700 points, I think, 6'6", six, six, around there. Um, and I'm very excited about... I think you should also be in the top 10, Elsa. You never get the, the, the recognition for, yeah. for your volumes. <laughs> no, no, I put my stuff up on, on the GoDead group. I share my figures. And that, that you know, keep, keeps me in the game as well. So I'm like the runner up most months. I need to be the winner for a change. But, you know, this is, this is something that I think that challenge that we sort of run together makes us all grow. And like you said, Amari, sometimes it is that you sort of have to just tweak a little bit and find that one thing that you love. Um, and nowadays, you know, with what we are having, you know, with this whole COVID thing, I used to build my business with shake parties. And now we, we don't do shake parties. We do the odd tasting here and there. And, but I really know that I love to help people to feel great and have, have better health. And when I see people have amazing results, I get so excited about that. So for me, that is still my big passion. But my other big passion is to help my team to make money. And the one thing that I realize is that the team is not building enough supervisors. So guys, we've brought out this new supervisor promotion now. We want you to really, as you're building your journey, you want to help people to get to 50%. But when they arrive there, that's where the journey starts. That's where you start building so that they can also build a supervisor organization because that's the only way that you're going to be able to get that residual income that's going to be your retirement money that's going to allow you to buy a beach house one day like I've just done. I'm so excited about my beach house. But what I'm saying is it's it's... At the end of the day, you want to be building a team and help them to make their dreams come true. And that is your task. So yes, make your cash, build your retail, but help an organization grow and grow your royalties. That's what you want to do at the end of the day. But super proud of you. Um, I'm super proud of the team. I mean, we've come through a serious winter here with very cold weather and very cold circumstances around us and we kept our heads in the game so well done and thank you thank you thank you for everybody's hard work we, we appreciate every each and every single one of you for the work that you do out there to help people to be healthy and happier and just to be around a positive environment you know so thank you for that and i hope you guys have an amazing month end and we see you on wednesday some of you for the breakfast club we are excited. We're still finding our feet with this new thing that we want to um, have the team join us. So we're very excited about that. So see you guys soon. Thank you, Amu. Thank you, uh, Laverne, for a great job in the team, the member welcome call. Thank you. Sorry about the sound issue.